Well, howdy, folks! Welcome to my brewery. Today we're gonna make a hillbilly beer. I like the word hillbilly, so I decided to make myself a hillbilly beer. First of all, I have to say, I'm no hillbilly expert, so please bear with me if I say something hillbilly, which is completely hillbilly. So, how would a hillbilly beer be anyway? Well, first of all, it would probably be strong as sh**. I'll be aiming for 8%. Second, I reckon that hillbillies like bonfires, so why not add a mighty dose of smoke malt to the mix? After primary fermentation, I will split the batch in three. First batch will be kept as is. For the second batch, some jack will be infused to it. Jack may not be the most hillbilly of other bourbons, but hey, I like jack. For the third batch, I will use cachaça, the liquor used to make the famous Brazilian drink caipirinha. Again, not textbook hillbilly, but I got this from my fiancé who is Brazilian, so why not try it out? Besides, the cachaça element might do wonders for dancing when a hillbilly party takes off. These ingredients were also considered. Eventually, I decided to keep it simple. Hopefully I will end up with a decent brew. I will quickly go through my setup. For those of you who would like a more in-depth description of it, you can watch my previous video. This is a hot liquor tank, holding enough water for the session. This is a mash tun, where we mix malts and water to make that sweet, sweet wort. This is a boil kettle, where we will boil for one full hour. And this is a control box. Let's do it! Now we'll mill the malt grains. This is peated malt, really smells like bonfire. One of the fun things about this setup is what I'm about to show you now. Boom, baby! Mash is finally complete. Let's transfer the work to the boil kettle. Let's get this boil going. The wort is boiling like a true hillbilly brew. It's time to add some hop and magic to the brew. These hops a cold warrior. Here we go. Boom! All this brewing is making me thirsty. Let's do something with that. Skull, y'all! Five minutes left of the boil, and the wort is screaming for more hops. This is Centennial. Boom! Boiling has completed. Let's get this belly chilled and into the fermenter. Well, here goes Billy! Go. Now, we'll let the beer god do his thing. See you all in a while! Welcome back, y'all! Fermentation has been going fantastic. It's time to introduce the beer to the good stuff. As you can see, I split the beer in three buckets. First bucket will get the cachaça raisins.
Next bucket will be the jack bucket. Third bucket is a reference bucket. That's it. See you all in a while, folks. Well then, the billets are bottled and ready for testing. I'm gonna bring you to them falls in my mighty truck. Well, folks, the moment of truth is upon us. Here are the results of the Mongbele project. Was it worth the effort? Let's find out. We start with Mongbele Basic. Of course, a nice head, I can see. A little bit too much, maybe. But. Good body, a very satisfying smoky flavor. I reckon this would pair very well with the barbecue meat. Next time I will probably push the smokiness even further. Next up is Mong Billy Jack. I'm a bit embarrassed to show this, but for the sake of honesty, I will do it anyway. Major failure. <clears throat> I may have forgotten to take a gravity reading uh, before bottling and added too much sugar. Anyway, I prepared a glass. <sighs> mm. Not happy with this one. I was hoping that the Jack and the Mongbilly would complement each other, but instead the Jack has seemed to cancel off the smokiness, leaving a brew with no distinct flavor. Better enjoy a glass of Jack with, uh, along with the Mongbilly. And finally, the Mongbilly B. This one is lacking a little bit head due to some fermentation problems I had uh, during the fermentation. Smoky aroma and a bit boozy also. Quite pleasant. Ah, wow, this beer is strong. The cachaça flavor is really coming through almost overwhelming the smoky flavor totally. I think that most people would uh, find this beer to have too much flavor. It would probably need to be matched with a very strong flavored uh, barbecue food to do justice. For conclusion, I'm really happy with Mongbele Basic and partly happy with Mongbele B. Infusing beer with hard liquor can be a gamble, but hey, hobbering is all about experimenting, right? Well, folks, it's time to kick off this Mongbele party and enjoy the wonders of the barbecue. Yeah! Cheers, guys. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.